All right, this is for you mamas out there. Um, maybe you have never dealt with iron issues in the past, and maybe you're not during pregnancy. Um, but this is good advice for all, especially if we are suffering um, with lower iron counts. Women need more iron in general than men um, due to losing blood through your period. Um, but obviously, when we're pregnant, we don't get that. But we do need more blood for, um, you know, the baby to utilize. So a lot of times, um, our iron can be a little bit lower. And I don't, it can really impact our energy and how we're feeling. So we're going to try to avoid that as much as possible. So let's talk about iron and some other things we can eat to help with iron absorption. Okay, so when you're pregnant, you need about twice the amount of iron as you did before. Okay, your body uses iron to make extra blood for your baby. All right, um, that hemoglobin um, is going to be that word, that iron word that I'm going to use. Okay, um, iron helps move oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body and to your babies. So you can see this is very, very important. Um, having anemia or not getting enough iron can cause your baby to be born too small or too early. So it's really, really important that we are getting enough iron. Okay, so when should I start taking iron? So the Center of Disease Control recommends taking a low-dose iron supplement or about 30 milligrams a day when you have your first prenatal appointments. Um, again, most of your prenatal vitamins already have this, okay? So if you are having any issues with that, we may need to prescribe an additional iron supplement. And your doctor, your nurse should talk to you about that. Um, if your iron counts are low, particularly hemoglobin is what we're going to be looking at. Okay, so how much iron should I take? So we're needing at least 27 milligrams of iron every day during pregnancy. If you are talking about post-pregnancy while you're breastfeeding, we should be getting at least 9 milligrams. Um, and that's for anyone prior to breastfeeding as well. Um, we need a little bit more if we're over 18, okay? Um, so definitely be aware of that. So what are some iron-rich foods? All right. Um, red meat, I think most of us are familiar with, you know, um, beef, pork, um, lamb, things like that. Chicken and turkey are great. Spinach or green leaves, shellfish are really great. So shrimp actually gets that iron up pretty well. Eggs have a little bit. We talked about raisins or dried fruit in another video having iron. Grain bread, oats, and soy may have some as well. Um, some of those um, plant-based sources can also um, hinder some iron absorption, so that's why I recommend trying to get some sort of meat-based food in there as well. Um, those of you that are choosing plant-based diets, you will probably need an additional iron supplement just because your body is not going to absorb that iron very efficiently. Okay, if we're doing a bunch of plant based foods, and I talked about this, that works together to interfere with iron absorption overall. Other items that are going to interfere with iron absorption, and I find this most with people who are skipping a lot of meals, who are feeling nauseous and just drinking a lot of fluids, um, your teas, your coffees, your sodas, particularly things with caffeine, sometimes dairy, um, can interfere with iron absorption. So it's important that we're eating a variety of different foods every day with plenty of protein um, to make sure that we're getting enough iron. One thing that our plant-based friends may be getting right is the fact that they're eating lots of vitamin C foods. And vitamin C foods do help with iron absorption. So those of you that are taking prenatal vitamins or an iron supplement, you may have heard your doctor or your nurse recommend drinking like half a cup of orange juice with that. It's because orange juice has a large amount of vitamin C um, and it gets to your system very quickly with it being juice. Now I just kind of mentioned being careful with juice in our my plate video. Again, you'd only be doing about half a cup if you could do 100% fruit juice instead of concentrate. Those are going to give you way more nutrients and benefits. So what are some other items that have vitamin C? Your red and yellow bell peppers actually have like 200% of your daily value. So those are awesome. Broccoli, kale, strawberries, kiwi, they both have quite a lot. Cauliflower, potatoes have a great amount. Um, cantaloupe, tomato juices, spinach, Brussels sprouts. So look at these and definitely utilize those. Obviously oranges have some. Okay, 
So eating these along with your high protein or high iron food um, is recommended. Maybe you do oats with a little bit of strawberries. Maybe you cut up some bell peppers in your omelet. Maybe you do a side of broccoli or cauliflower with your fish or your chicken or turkey. Maybe with your spinach or, or kale salad, you add a, a vegetable, you know, tomato juice or tomato, canned tomatoes with ground turkey or beef or whatever. Um, potatoes at the side of your meals, those are all going to be good choices, okay? Um, so, again, vitamin C not only helps with iron absorption, but it also helps with immune function, healthy skin and co connective tissues, um, and decreased cell damage. Um, so that was one of the things that I recommended for you there. I hope that cleared up some things on iron. And again, if you are experiencing low iron, I would still recommend um, making an appointment with me so that we can um, assess that a little bit more um, along with your daily routine. Um, so get your iron, eat well, and have a great day.